Svetlana, the firefly in the room. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you here because we have a very beautiful morning in Lithuania so I decided to share a little piece of my life and just show you how I start my mornings on weekend days and just show you around. So every single morning I go to the parks near my home and I just love look at the blooms, just see all the, these colors, all this greenery to feel the warm wind and it's just it's just magical and I never thought that I will be that kind of person but guys I love running <laughs> it's so weird but I really do and my dog Rocky loves it even more because it's just a perfect perfect activity for us to be even more closer to each other to be closer to the nature to smell all the smells to feel all the feels and just be happy together So after we're done with exploring, after we're done with running, we will go home. And Rocky most of the time will just have another nap because why not, right? <laughs> and I will go and take a nice cold shower to refresh myself and feel all the power coming back to my body. And then I will go to my plants. So most of the time I bring my plants for the night back out inside because Nights in Lithuania are still pretty cold, so I don't want to risk my plants and get some cold damage. So I bring them back inside and every single morning I have to bring them back to the balcony. And it just became some kind of routine and I love it. I love to watch my plants every morning. <clears throat> I love to just give them a little bit of a drink and just get all of the summer sun to my skin. And obviously I just love to start morning with a cup of coffee actually I was never a coffee drinker but after I started to work in my current work we had a great great coffee machine so I really miss our office coffee <laughs> and I'm not that good at making coffee myself but I'm trying so obviously I need a little bit of a breakfast so I'll make myself most of the time a bowl of cereal or an omelet or something like that and will take my breakfast and go back to the balcony to see the morning to get that morning sunlight to my skin and just stay quiet while everybody still are still asleep and be with myself so as you can tell I have a pretty nice garden it's two weeks old so as you can tell for two weeks it's not that bad I'm proud of my onions <laughs> And ginger wasn't that successful, but all other plants are pretty healthy, but guys, dills and radishes, it looks like they would enjoy a little bit more soil. So what I'm going to do right now, I will report them, because, well, my mom said not to, because nobody reports radishes, just like she said, it's quote. <laughs> but I have to, I want to, so I will. So yeah, so I'm reporting. <laughs> To be honest, from my first days ever, I would spend every single summer at my grandma and I would always help her in the garden and we would have tons of strawberries and lots of vegetables, lots of apples and fruits and it was just so magical for me and I miss her so much and since we are still locked down in our homes, I just wanted to bring that little piece of peace <laughs> to my home as well. So I started my own garden and guys this is so relaxing and so so magical for me and if you're thinking of starting your own garden this is a perfect time it's still not too late just do it because it's so so fun and maybe I'm 
all played. I don't know, but I enjoyed this. <laughs> so after reporting these radishes, I will go to the dells. As you can tell, they're pretty bushy and the stems look so weak. So I wanted to do something about it. So just take a little bush and put it in the new pot and it will be a little bit deeper in the soil so they will have a little bit more of support of the soil and when they will grow a little bit taller I'll just use some kind of string to keep them all together and I know that I probably should use uh, some space in every single plant I mean to separate them a little bit more but I just love the way it looks I love this little bush and even though if you would think what the heck Svetlana this is not looking very nice trust me today is the next day after I filmed this and these guys looks great they live in it so be calm about it <laughs> so here I'm using another pot and another little bush and you would say why are so not careful why are not bringing plant by plant well my mom used to say that don't be so so afraid to lose a plant if you have started some seeds because you need only the strongest ones and if some will die in the end it's not that bad because actually I'm not I'm not growing this garden to make as much vegetables as possible I'm doing this for the activity I'm doing this for relaxation it brings me and at the end if I will have a little bit of idyll I don't mind <laughs> So after finishing repotting, I have a pretty nice garden and a couple days ago in my kitchen I found a little bit of beans, so I decided to do a little experiment and pot these as well. So I'll just put them under a thin layer of soil, keep them moist and we will see. I will take notes how long it takes for every single plant to start growing. And if you are interested, let me know, I'll share it in some of my videos. And that's about it for the garden. I love to keep it moist, I love to keep it happy under the sun. But talking about happiness, I have a little project. So this is my epiphylum and it's from my grandma. But as you can tell, it's not that happy because it had a pretty tough winter and it had a root rot. So I tried to save it and I tried to keep it in water to make him better but he did not enjoy that guys. I mean look it started to rot in water as well. So what I want to do I want to cut the bottom part as well as a little bit of a rot and the fresh freshly cut plants I want to put directly in the soil. I know that I probably would need to let them dry a bit but the soil is dry itself so I'll just try to do it like that you guys just look it's so sad I mean my grandma has a mother plant and it's blooming for her every single summer and she's always so excited about it and so proud and I want to feel that happiness I want to feel that you know that feeling when you know that this plant from the first days that you had started to bloom for you but first I need to make this plant happy so fingers crossed this will work because it's a very special plant for me and I really don't want to lose it so I'm not going to tell about it for my grandma <laughs> until it will you know, survive but I hope very soon I will be able to share some blooms with her as well okay guys so this is how I will end this video I hope you enjoyed this kind of shooting editing video let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about it and well me I need to clean some things I need to clean myself first of all and that's it I will go to celebrate my birthday <laughs> so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like this video comment did you enjoyed it and till the next time bye You wanna come on my lap? Yeah, I'm gonna turn beer. Say goodbye, people. That's the way to keep us safe.
Okay.